79, I think. And today I'm attempting my first marathon. So today could potentially be 26.2 mile day. Uh, got 13 done by noon, took a break. Uh, there's gonna be a little shop. I could probably stop for a cold drink around mile 20 and then hopefully be able to keep going. Uh, first full day in the Shenandoah National Park where I'm apparently pretty much guaranteed to see a bear, but they kind of said the same thing about the Smokies, so didn't see one there. We'll see, um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted. Bye. day 80 I'm pretty sure maybe um, and so yeah yesterday I had plans to do a marathon and then we um, got to a camp store there's a lot of different campsites and camp spell camp stores and thing called things called waysides in Shenandoah um, so anyways we got to one of those camp stores right before it rained in a big like breezeway that we hung out in while it stormed. And while we were hanging out, we bought a lot of food, and ate a lot of food, and bought a lot of beer, and drink some of that too. So, ended up not doing the marathon. By the time it stopped raining, we felt like staying still. Um, and then we're just seeing how we feel today. Uh, probably like a 15 mile day or something like that. Um, still no bears. We'll see. That's all. Bye. It's day 81, and today I'm going to see a bear. It's uh, day 82, I think. Okay, so I've been in Shenandoah for a few days now. And it's like the northern section of Virginia. And then as soon as we're done with this, we pretty much go straight into West Virginia, then Maryland pretty quickly after that. And uh, it's a national park. We've only gone through a few national parks. Um, kind of expecting it to be something pretty cool. Plus a lot of people have said like, had a few few uh, former through hikers tell me like, oh, make sure to slow down through the through Shenandoah. It's really beautiful. Like, definitely want to go slow, slower through there. And I've had like like we even thought about you can actually canoe. You can they call it aqua blazing. Get a canoe and like 
canoe the river instead of hike the trail. We even thought about doing that. And I asked some Facebook groups for information about it and people are like, you can do it, but you're gonna miss the most beautiful section of the trail. I don't wanna say that Shenandoah isn't beautiful. I mean, everything out here is beautiful, but just in comparison to everything else that we've seen, it's pretty generic and, you know, has really been nothing incredible. Just not really living up to my expectations in that regard. However, I love this park. So it's like pretty flat in comparison, which is why I'm surprised people said to slow down during it because if we really set our mind to it, like I could do a few marathons through here. But the best part is just that every few miles there is a wayside or a camp store or a lodge or a restaurant. And yeah, so basically we've just been taking advantage of that and stopping pretty much everywhere and getting, you know, food or beer or charging our phones or, you know, just like sitting inside and drying off. So definitely enjoying my time here. We've had a lot of fun. It's been like just kind of an extended party, kind of um, getting a little bit spoiled. Very scared to see what my bank account's going to look like when I finally get out of this part. But still having a good time. Just not really sure why this park has been I was told it was just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Like, it's cool. Like, if you're coming here or something, like, you're going to have a good time. It's just in comparison to a lot of the other things that we've seen, it's pretty monotonous. Um, and just, like, you know, more rolling hills than it is mountains. I don't know. But that's that. Oh, also, you're supposed to see a lot of bears in Shenandoah. People are like, oh, you haven't seen a bear yet? Oh, you'll, you'll see, like, five in Shenandoah. You'll see so many. Not one. Yesterday, I was out of camp before everyone else. I started hiking at 6 a.m. My goal is to do 10 miles by 10 a.m., be the first one out of the trail, and I was just positive I was going to see a bear. Nothing. I like, wasn't even hiking with my poles, trying to make the least amount of noise as possible. No bears. None today. I'm starting to think that it's a myth. So basically, everything everyone told me about Shenandoah was wrong, but Whatever, still having a good time. That is all, talk to you later, bye. Oh, yeah. You like the budget? Yeah, she picked oh, yeah. up for really cheap, so. Oh. I think it was a great place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she had that kind of even sucks. shoe dryers. <laughs>
pretty crappy. Lots of mud and like some boardwalks placed in over the places where it's insanely muddy, which is pretty common. But like the boardwalks were pretty much rotten through and you're like stepping on them and sinking farther into the mud just on a piece of wood. And we're going through all of this insanely high grass that doesn't have any like wake on either side of the trail, which is just very dangerous because that's how you get ticks all over you and you can do tick checks all you want, but some of those things are really tiny. And yeah, there's a bunch of walking like parallel with a pretty busy road today and you can hear the road for several miles and uh, a lot of kudzu just covering everything and yeah, just, yeah, we got out of the park and it just turned into like, I feel like I'm hiking through, I don't know, not parkland. So yeah, just wanted to comment on that. Not like the best day of hiking and is the longest day of hiking for me. So probably not a good combo, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, other news, cause I haven't been filming too much lately. Uh, my feet are feeling like a good billion times better. Um, and a lot of that I think is new shoes and slightly easier terrain. Um, but also I've managed to get rid of a lot of stuff in my backpack. Um, mostly with it being warmer weather, sending home clothes, heavy sleeping bag, replacing it, replacing it with lighter gear. Um, and plus the group of people that I've been hiking with lately, their packs are super light. So just giving a new perspective on what you really need once you don't. And the decreased weight has, I think, helped a lot. Um, yeah, I've been hiking with this group. Their names are Cap Cap, Pinky, Mandar, and Textbook. And they're really cool. Been with them for like a week or two now. Um, and I'll probably try to stay with them for a while because I like their company. Anyways, that's all. I'm gonna go finish this stupid day. Talk to you later, bye.